Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for the Cat Coin Bank. This is one of those interactive one, and I believe this is the Itazura Coin Bank. Yep. I picked this one since it has the orange box. I'm always fascinated with orange. <laughs> Here we go. And I believe uh, this is the Mikineko version or the Calico Cat. I think Calico Cats are they're white, uh, colored with brown and black spots. Although I'm not really too familiar with uh, cat breeds, but there's also uh, let's see here, Tora Neko, which is the tabby, the American short here, Chatora, which is the orange tabby, and the panda, and Kumamon, and among other things, they've come up with this. <laughs> I picked this one. I should have picked the Chatora, the orange tabby, but I think on that one he has uh, grapes on the box here. Eh, I, I prefer to have the orange one there. <laughs> Anyways, here's the box. I got mine from uh, Nippon Yasan. Here we go. So it's quite easy. Place in the batteries. You can use a coin to open up. Uh, pretty much what holds the coins uh, inside. Get the cat there. And some more information. Alright, let's take a look inside. Here we go. It's kind of uh, nifty. It's actually quite big, and uh, I thought it would be smaller, but this one is well, probably medium size coin bank. Uh, let's see here. It's about almost three and a half inch by almost four, three by four. And so you're probably wondering what's that in centimeters. Well, here we go. It's about nine. 9 by 10. Yep. I should really familiarize myself with the metric system. So here we go. We got all these uh, signs here. It's fragile. Top side up. <laughs> you got a barcode here. This is where the speakers are. And on the other side, we have the on and off switch here. We got the battery compartment. The coin. Yep, you got the cat here and kind of just looking inside you have this lever which is a cat paw You have the face of the cat. I actually end up uh, dismantling this. It's kind of interesting what's inside Yep, I had this crazy idea where I can interchange the cat with soul and snake <laughs> And it will take a lot more because part of this uh, opening also you see that uh, part there from the top cover it actually slides as the cat paw uh, comes out yeah I need to have a like a big arm for snake just to have something like that and even then I might have to sacrifice a solid snake figure which uh, they don't come cheap so I'm not going with that route I'm just gonna keep it as a cat anyways you know that uh, let's go ahead and open up uh, this battery compartment and I'm just gonna go ahead and insert the, some batteries here here we go so two AA batteries make sure that's all the way in there we go in some sense I kind of like how they you gotta screw it in because sometimes those tab things tend to break then again, you could say the same thing about this screw. I mean, <laughs> anyways, that's that's that. Um, I do have some coins here, mostly quarters. I do have a dime. All right, so uh, let's test this out. Start on first. So we got the cut. All right, so it's all set now. Let's try with a corner first. There we go. And actually, even the slightest touch, just actually like a dip switch there. Or no, actually not a dip switch, like a, what do you call it? Just a little uh, switch. As you press it down, that, that little uh, micro uh, switch. There's a term for that, like a temporary switch. There we go. So even the slightest touch like that, a simple tap. See, even dime, you can pick it up. Even pennies. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and retrieve our coins here. So we're just gonna open this up. There we go. And eventually, I'm just 
rock your coin bank and you get them again. Yep. There we go. So it's a it's a nifty toy. And you don't really need to put a coin on top to test it out. You can just press this. <laughs> I think uh, I can remember if I did a video. I do have the Godzilla coin bank too, but that one you need to put a coin to make it work. It's really cool. Anyways, that's about it for the review. Again, got from uh, Nippon Nissan. Um, it's a nifty place. I uh, check out the uh, uh, Japanese collectible, kind of like what I do with Ami Ami. And I'll provide the link down below. Uh, just a heads up, doing a search in Nippon Nissan is a little hard. <laughs> Actually, a, a good way is just uh, using Google uh, with Nippon Yasan on top, uh, in front of whatever item you're looking for. And I think that's the best way to look for stuff. Yep. Anyways, that's about it for the review. Hope you guys like it. So until then, this is Meats. Thanks for watching. There's always something I always forgot to mention. So if ever you want to keep it the way you found in the box, you can always stop it. So make sure you're ready to press or turn off the switch. You press it. There you go. Then you turn off the switch and you got the little cat just almost picking out or trying to grab something. If you want to just leave it in this display. And yeah.